And so, go find a spot. Do you, are you gonna be in the video? Or are you just gonna, are you just gonna stand there? Okay, that's not, that's not how this works. I'm really bad at this. Hi, welcome to today's video. My name is Sonia, and I will be working on my 1986 Toyota Corolla A86. But first, there's something I do have to fix. I've been really excited because it's getting a little cold in Texas now, which means I can be wearing my mechanic suit. Problem. My mechanic suit ripped in the wash. I think I can fix this. I think this is doable. Right? I'm just gonna wing it. I'm gonna wing it. That's, that's what I do here on this channel. I got this fabric to make a patch. It's got little unicorns on it. It's so cute. Ooh, this is hard. Ow. That's a bad one. Ooh, okay. Let's just, uh, just move on. Just keep going forward. Oh, this is actually kind of calming. This is nice, I think. Okay, not gonna lie, I'm getting a little bored. Not gonna lie, I haven't touched my car in probably a month or so. I've been distracted. So she's kind of collecting dust. But today, I think I'm gonna tackle some little things that I've been kind of ignoring or avoiding or just haven't gotten to. On another note, I actually ordered some tires. I'm gonna be using my old wheels as spares at some point for drifting. Um, I mean, only three of them are usable since the other ones, like that one was pretty broken, so I can't use it at all. I don't know if it's gonna be weird drifting with 14s in the front and 15s in the rear. I think it should be fine. I do wanna get another set of 14s just as drift spares at some point, but for now, it's a good backup. I'm gonna start with something very, very easy, and that's Replacing this mirror. It fell off while I was driving and it's extremely dangerous because I have a bucket seat and this is the driver's side. And so I can't actually look over my shoulder when I'm switching lanes. And that was really scary. I almost got into an accident the other day just trying to drive this thing on the road. Okay, wow, look how sharp this corner is. That's definitely not right. Yeah. No, 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 no. Still no. Okay, well that sucks. I'm just gonna say these guys suck because it specifically said Toyota Corolla 1986. And this is, it has like a sharp angle to it. That's not even close. What the heck guys? I don't like it, but I need a mirror because I don't want to die when I'm driving. So I compromise. It does fit this way. It's just, there's a little gap right here and then there's a kind of a big gap right here. So it just looks like I have a broken mirror, but it's good enough, right? Keep your standards low and you'll never be disappointed. Let's see what else can go wrong. Uh, my front bumper, oh man, this thing has been driving me crazy because it keeps falling off. Like it just, yeah, it just doesn't want to stay. And then while I was driving one day, this piece, this entire piece, it just fell off while I was driving and I didn't even notice. And then I drove off and my friend picked it up. Luckily he didn't sell it. So I, I think I should put this thing back on because it looks derpy without it. I need to move the car back a little bit because I can't access the front. Okay, 
in the attempt to realign the bumper and the fender, I realized that a lot of the bumper is broken. As in where all the screws go, it's kind of broken. So nothing fits properly. It's all kind of sagging. And it's, it's holding on by just this one part, which is kind of broken. And then the other side, this side is completely broken. So I can't even put the thing on the screw anymore or the bolt. Or, this thing is broken, so I can't even bolt this part back on anymore. <sighs> Overall, I think I'm just tired of this front bumper. I need a body kit. Ow! Yeah, I want a body kit. <laughs> That's happening at some point. And I also, I really want um, wide front fenders because these fenders were rolled and they did not do a good job on this. Like it's, if you look at the other side, it's actually cracked and it's rusting. So yeah, I'm just kind of over it. Check it out. Check engine light is not on anymore. We cleared it. You guys helped a lot with that. So thank you so much for all the people who helped me figure all that all the codes out and stuff because I I was pretty stumped for a while. All right, it's package day. I think I know what this is. I hope this is what I think it is. It's a box with a box. Wait, we're not done yet. are the wheel spacers from Parts by Max. Um, one of you recommended them to me because they're adjustable. Thank you so much for recommending these because I wasn't sure where I should get spacers. But these are really cool. So they come with, let me take this part. Hold on. Ow. So it comes with a 15 millimeter spacer and three slip-ons of seven millimeter, five, and three. Let's try this out. done something so stupid you wonder how you've made it far in life somehow for whatever reason I managed to put this lug nut on and tighten it and now I can't get it off because huh, there's there's nothing to grip onto <laughs> oh, I have so many questions like how and why? Well, I'm annoyed. And I am just gonna work on the other side and I'll come back to this one. So dumb. I just finished the other side. I put the spacers and all the slip-ons on. So this is that 30 mil. Um, it's better. <laughs> I will say that it's definitely better. It still has a huge gap right here, but it's not as bad as before. But if I were to lower it a little more, it also should fix that quite a bit. Because yeah, there's definitely a lot of gap. But I'll save that for another time. The 8.6 is looking like a real mess right now. It's definitely not the worst 8.6, so give me that. But even these fenders, even though I managed to get them to stay 
I really don't feel like they will stay. I feel like they're gonna pop off eventually. And the front bumper, like this whole, all the body panels, yeah. But if anything, I really intend to replace these with some aftermarket ones. Maybe, most likely some wider fenders. And then for the rear, I also wanna replace those. I thought I'd like these, and it's nice that I tried them out to see how they look, but I definitely, I do want different ones. I'm not in love with these. So eventually, eventually, we'll get new fenders, front and rear, and then we'll get a new front bumper and some side skirts, and oh, just close your eyes and picture this with me. Some side skirts, full body kit, paint. Mm. Yep, yep, that's happening. But for now, she's great, she's good, and she runs. She runs. Yeah. How many of you 8.6 owners can say that your 8.6 runs? Okay, I'm just, I'm just trying to make myself feel better right now. Uh, but that's all I have for the update. So thank you so much for being here, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you.